and I've been passionately involved in the industry for the last 10 years. I have a few points here which I'd like to make that I'm hoping will allow us to frame the debate a little bit. We're going to see a revolution, a movement towards large turbines over the next few years. Why is that? We're trying to build a sustainable industry for the future. The only way we're going to do that is by having larger turbines that are more efficient and allow a post-subsidy industry to survive. For that to happen, you and I will need to encourage a sea change in the attitude of planners, developers and the general public in order to allow that change to happen. And it'll, we are the people that are going to be responsible for that. It's not just about us as an industry in onshore wind. We have a responsibility on wider society to decarbonise our energy system and move towards a green transport system. The only way we're going to do that is by decarbonising our energy generation. The industry that is leading that is wind. The exciting thing is that we can do this by reducing the number of turbines we actually build and end up cluttering our landscape. How is that? Well, 25 years ago, when this industry was in its infancy, 500 turbines would be needed to build 100 megawatts of output. Nowadays, 25 turbines can do the same job. So it's a no-brainer really, as far as I'm concerned, that large turbines are going to be absolutely key to our future as an industry.